down this hallway to the Man, imagine if you could play like poker with channel points. Well, that would be kind of cool. Young Garrett, in the nearby rooms, I will instruct you in the various skills you will need to survive. Please stay in the entrance area to each room while I explain the room's purpose. When you are ready to begin your lessons, proceed down this hallway. Ah! The first room. You must learn how to approach. move unseen. Stay in the Thing shadows. Is, I actually kind of like the indicator on your screen will tell you playing some card games. Try to reach I mean, the I don't gamble with like real money. Very good. You must learn I do. You really have interest some in actual gambling. But the walking. games themselves are fun sometimes. Makes more noise than moving slowly. Listen to your own footsteps if you could to hear play how much poker noise with you are like making. The instructor will essentially play money. <laughs> you must get to the top Panel of the platform points. without be kind of being cool. heard. Now get your weapons. To pick up objects, select them by centering them on screen until they light. I mean, it would kind of defeat then the purpose of now you will learn new Tunnel points is like skills. a loyalty system, First, I guess. Climb the rope by jumping onto and if you it. could Move just looking up hit a bunch of tunnel points by the, rope. the keepers were trying to people change your face. You jump again. <laughs> the the uses for those now skills. climb the rope to get to the top of the platform. Well done. Run and jump across the gap to the other side of the... Now there's an old school MMO. Like a puzzle game MMO that I used to play that had a poker game. I played a bunch of Texas Hold'em in that game. What's going on over there? Although that was kind of sketchy because it was a kind of a gits game, and you could buy buy stuff but with like real money. So essentially, you could you could gamble real money. <laughs> I mean, you you couldn't win real money, but you could lose real money. So that was kind of sketchy. But it was fun, like I liked I liked playing that. <laughs> Although some people were annoying to play against. I like the game was Texas Hold'em. Some people would just like play the dumbest way possible. They would like all in on every single set of cards. And it, it gets annoying quickly. Because then you're like, oh man, here comes this guy again. It goes all in on like the first card. But besides that, it was pretty fun. Do my eyes show me her I mean, I never really spent money on the game. So. I didn't care if I with like, one more or last. All right, old man. Let's get you out of here and me my money. Afraid you're gonna be disappointed. Good thing you're dying, Cuddy. Or I'd have to kill you for stiffing me again. Poker song. <laughs> yeah, there isn't much going on. <laughs> but I owe you. So. And I, I do actually have some poker games in my Steam library. Left me his notes. Thy trickery shall the not last. Don't try those out. Evidence box. Loot collection, more like. Upstairs. Officers' quarters. Once you're up there. Someone. <laughs> Dota 2 isn't poker. Dota 2 is just torture. Now that game. Uh, I think that game is finally dying. Like honestly, I do believe. This must be how they spend all those tides. They really messed up that game. There's just like endless morphs, endless Cuddy, account boosters. <laughs> it's just really bad. They really dropped the ball. That game isn't like. I played Dota 2 a lot. That game isn't fun casually. It's, it's just not. You have to try hard. And I never have fun try harding. Yeah. I don't really play that anymore. Lies better. So I think I still think it's a cool game. I do like to watch esports. But yeah. I, I wouldn't play that game. 
man, the multiplayer game market is like super brutal nowadays. Like, you know, there's the old saying of five minutes of fame. Now, like, multiplayer games get like five weeks of being relevant. I played a, I played a lot of Age of Empires too. That game is really good. Good thing I'm not afraid of heights. I played a bunch of other <laughs> random RTS games. Never played StarCraft though, or Warcraft. The Horn of Quintus, I presume. And there are some other ones I played. Mostly sci-fi stuff. Yes, I'm sure that shot the women for me. Hello? He's dead. Let's head back now. Okay. These yeah. creeps have been leading I've... right back to whoever sent them to kill I, me. That should have not Probably worked. I can tail them without them noticing me. Yeah, I know StarCraft is free. Kinda late to get into that game though. <laughs> I think they just announced for StarCraft 2 that they're stopping support for the game or something. <laughs> Yeah, not not the best time <laughs> to start with that game. Honestly, man, I was I really had high hopes for Torchlight 3. I really wanted to play some action RPG. But that game ended up not very good. Mr. Ramirez once and for all. So now I'm just stuck not having RPG to play. <sighs> Man, I've been thinking of maybe going back and doing <coughs> some second playthroughs of some games that I really like. It would be fun to stream those. I don't know if I would really have to time yeah there's some playthroughs that I wish that I had streamed how did he see me dude I missing about so that no dude I would have saved time there how did he he saw me like right at the end I think he actually saw me when I Came in the room. And move there. I turn around. Uh, Why did you close the door, bro? I didn't hear the door. Thanks, game. Who's creeping around there? Uh, like I, I'd really like to do second playthroughs of like Dark Souls, all the Dark Souls games. I heard that. Show Hopefully he doesn't catch up to me. <sighs> nice. Time to take my uh, slow and get out of this crazy place. No, oh, I think he clicked down. I was chasing me. I think they actually have a legit path down from there. Man, bad sword.
Man, every now and then I get the urge to play some MMO. Like, I'm thinking that might not be a good idea. So I think it would take so much of the time. I mean, it would probably be fun if I like played something actually good. It might be fun. It, it takes a lot of time though. Now the thing is, I really like doing casual playthroughs of like a whole bunch of games. I like trying different stuff. Sometimes you find cool stuff that you didn't think you would ever play or care about and then it turns out it's a lot of fun <sighs> Looks like this place was built by my old pals the Keepers <laughs> yeah, they're, hiding in here. they're making so many HD versions of Age of Empires they, I think they even have a third one I have like, I only have the old HD version of Age of Empires 2. And I, I also have, the, I think I have the OG uh, Age of Empires 3. No, I don't do the death abuse in Horde Cathedral. It's like, it's pretty hard. At least hard for me. <laughs> Reading the book at the end is like really finicky. The fling itself isn't that bad. I mean, you fail it like every tenth attempt or whatever. <laughs> but I remember from practicing that strength. I didn't even do it in my AL action. <laughs> Not that I remember. There might be an easier way of doing it, but the one that I was doing way back at least was way too hard for me. So this is the lost city. It's not lost no more. That was kind of weird. <sighs> Man, it makes me sad that there's so many good old school PC games that I've just somehow disappeared like thief is honestly quite fortunate that it's still available easily on steam and gog if there's a bunch of games from this era that just vanished from the face of the earth the publisher went bankrupt or something and no one really knows who has the rights for the game so it can't be released on digital stuff so looking glass studios here? i think but the looking glass studios games are a rare exception where they are easily available dude there's like a spy game i saw someone played on twitch it was like a spy game what's the name dude I don't remember the name. I was. It looked really fun. It looked like one down, really good. One to go. But that game's gone. No, I don't know who owns the rights. It's likely it will never be released again or made available again. Man, but you never know, dude. I was. I was so confident. Way back, I was like. I liked playing like I started playing uh, Final Fantasy games some years ago. And I was like, man, they're never gonna bring FF9 to PC. Everyone was like, yeah, FF9 is never, never coming to PC. And then one day, boom, <laughs> they released it for PC. Although the PC version is kind of bad, but you know, it's something. And then another was like Atlas. Atlas like never releases stuff for PC. They like kind of hate PC. 
I was like, okay, Persona is never coming to PC. But now <laughs> you can get Persona 4 on Steam. And like after the release of Persona 4 on Steam, Atlas was like, oh man, there's a lot of money. PC gamers really like to buy this game. So now they're probably gonna bring a bunch of other games to Steam as well. But yeah, that, that stuff is kind of easier because it's like bigger budget, more well known. Like Atlas is a big, big uh, developer. But the random PC stuff from the turn of the millennia kind of gone. I'll lose some time here because I failed to jump like twice. Yep. And there were some other mistakes too. Just the jumps. That was a nice goal, by the way. I think I pulled it on the cathedral like twice today. And another thing that's going to be gone soon is Flash games. And there were so many good Flash games. I used to play those a ton when I was a kid. <laughs> yeah, you can still get them to work and there are a whole bunch of archiving projects. It's, it's weird how, like, HTML5 games never really took off, like Flash games. At least not from what I can tell. Because, uh, technically, uh, HTML5 should be better, from what I understand. Oh, what is this guy? Super aggro, hello? Yeah, dude, I actually, I bought some, one of the new Bloons games on Steam. And it's, it's not that bad. I mean, it's got a whole bunch of mobile pillow crap, but besides that, the game itself is pretty fun. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna squeeze through eventually. another oh. game that I played like the flash version and I got some version of it on Steam. I didn't play that too long. It was like a zombie ap apocalypse and see the word apocalypse uh, simulator. <laughs> and the new version was decent by I don't know, I just got bored. <laughs> The board of it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I lost some health earlier. I wonder oh. what it's like right now. 
I don't like seeing that. Don't talk to me so fast. Give me a break, man. I'm just gonna shoot him from here. Hi, Mr. <laughs> I'm gonna save and try to... I'm sure that would work. That ah, was really sketchy. I don't know how I rolled at that dude. That was the sketchiest thing I've ever seen. Okay, we have another shot at more. Hopefully I won't fail as much this time. <laughs> Here we go. The same start. Okay. What's going on? Why do I keep failing the first thing? It's just a timing thing, I'm pretty sure. Maybe I should practice that. <laughs> like deja vu. Oh no. <clears throat> I'm gonna heal one too. Be perfect health for this. Oh. Can you touch the rope, please? Please. There we go. No, what? Dude, nice rope. That rope is so fucked. Yeah, you can save and load the lava, won't kill you. That's like a super old strand. It's a bit slower, but it's like free. So I just want to get a guaranteed PB, so I just take the free, free time save. Or it's not a time, well, it's time save for me because my mom was bad. Yeah, if I don't fail the death abuse, it would be a sub-27.
Man, the reason why I got gold in Strange Bedfellows was because the guy talked to me like straight away. He talked to me immediately. He talked to me before I even lined up to drop the mine. So he's like, yeah, thanks for the gold. Probably not gonna get another one of those soon. I think I'm gonna save here. Doesn't really matter. Nice. 